This message, uh, this message goes out to the doctor, as in Dr. Who. I've been a big fan most of my life, and um, my name is uh, Brian, but I'm going to call myself Q the first time, Lord. So, anyways, um, long story short, I am sending this message in the hopes that you're going to get it. Now, in my world, in my universe, you're called fiction. But to me, I've realized that none of this is fiction, that um, everything is real. It all interlinks. And I think what you call the master is actually my mind. Um, it's just, in a weird way, it's, it's hard to describe how things are functioning. So, I've got a little skip going on here with the uh, video. Anyways, long story short, um, I'm getting the videos um, called Fiction um, of your travels. And the uh, travels indicate that uh, you're coming up against a, a lady that uh, claims that she's the master. Well, I, for lack of better words, this is all unscripted, so I'm, I'm doing this improv. And just I, I made the intention of not writing anything down, so you can see how typical a human response can be when it's not exactly scripted. So anyways, um, long story short, uh, what I've seen is just a series of videos my entire life. Your TV series is running for 50 years in my timeline, and uh, the videos that I get, they're dated nine years in the past for some reason, um, but they're indicating that they're new. So, what's going on, I don't know, and that's actually something I'm trying to figure out at this point. But the way I look at it is, I think the master is how you may look at my mind. Um, not exactly 100% sure, but I'm trying to explain, don't be afraid of this being called the master, if it is my mind. It's just, I'm an analytical person, I've you know, been into computers my entire life. You know, so I think to some degree it may have a presence that may appear intimidating, you know, because I have a tendency to organize things. So, with that said, my advice is um, I'm halfway in between. You've got two episodes. It's a back-to-back -back series. Now, one episode's already run, and you just uh, realize that the master is now a woman. And what I'm going to suggest is actually take her fingers and dip it into the TARDIS, and maybe you can actually trace down the origins of me through that. And what I'm going to say is just basically, if we have a way, I would love to time travel. I would love to actually go through the alternate realities and understand the world from a very, very different perspective. And I do see the world from a very different perspective than a lot of people I know. Um, I feel different. You know, that's my thing. It's I understand alternate realities. I understand the whole nature of time, linear to non-linear sense. I understand that cause can come effect or after effect. Um, I see the differences in my own timeline and how things have changed over time to actually create my linear timeline. Um, I see written history as it's been written and, and produced to me, but I also see everything in my fiction that indicates that there's more, far more to my timeline than what's actually been produced in, quote, the historical documents of my time. I'm choosing to respect my timeline, and I ask that if you do interfere with my timeline, can you please do me a favor and make it, just to try as hard as you possibly can, not to directly interfere with my own personal timeline. Um, and when I say not directly interfere, what I plan on doing, what I'd like to do is actually create tangent points in my own timeline and, and interact with myself to actually give myself answers to some of the questions about why certain people left my life at certain times that just at the time made absolutely no sense. Um, I'd like to answer some of those questions, but um, I'd also like, uh, like whoever was to be going over my own timeline to understand that you know, maybe this all has just led to me going through a weird educational program, you know, to become a Time Lord. That's why I'm calling myself Q, the first of the Time Lords. Um, I call myself human, you know, but I'm not anymore. And uh, I've watched and grown up on science fiction and fantasy my entire life. Um, gotten an education on alternate realities, on time travel, and stuff called Star Trek, and through Doctor Who, and a lot of shows like that. Now, I like a certain air of predictability in my life. I like having gravity, you know? I like knowing that, you know, space is going to be moving at a certain particular point in time and everything. And to some degree, I, I like 
I like having predictability in my life um, to a certain extent, you know. To the extent that it's at right now, it kind of drives me insane. You know, that's why I'm putting this message out. I know this stuff is real. And the show, this, the music that's coming on, it seems to be my soundtrack for life lately. I just want to play a part in something more. You know, I want to be not necessarily a part of the show, but a part of having fun, you know, part of being me, part of li loosening up, part of smiling. Now, I have the feeling that the me that you see is a woman, and the me, that, or the you that I see on TV is a man, but I also have a feeling that if you were to come here, in my reality, that you might just be a woman, and I think I've already met that woman. And if that's the case, that would be phenomenal. If not, then maybe there's a way you can actually say to it that you're a woman might be helpful. If not, it doesn't make a difference. What makes a difference is I love the idea of actually being able to go tour, and I have this feeling that you're looking for somebody like that anyways. Um, you asked an engineer about uh, last, uh, what, two episodes ago, if he'd join you, and I, it, I can tell you were a little bit disappointed that he wasn't wanting to, you know, because he knows what he'd be signing up for. I know what I'd be signing up for, too. No, I don't. That would be a lot. But the air of lack of predictability with some of it and everything lets me think that this is what I want. So I'm not 100% sure, but then again, I'm not 100% sure about anything anymore, other than I'm just in this life to have fun. You know, maybe it'll be a little bit crazy. I'm a sexual guy to some extent, so I'd love to experiment with some of that stuff, especially with time travel. And um, history. I'd love to just go through and modify little things here and there. So, anyways, I'm hoping that this message gets across to alternate realities, to the doctor in Doctor Who. And you understand that I'm a very, very real person, and I think I'm in an alternate reality that's adjacent to yours, that may be influencing yours. Um, to me, I think you may have seen me as being a two-dimensional thing at times, trying to actually program or get to understand yours. Um, I'm fully three-dimensional as far as I know. I mean, this world around me is three-dimensional. But I think a part of my mind may not have that comprehension. So I think me and my mind are two different things, or I shouldn't say that. We're coming to terms with each other. I'm calling it a symbiotic relationship, for lack of better words. But in any case, here, it's a day after my birthday, November 2nd, 2014. I'm in Starbucks in Hollywood. And I'm just putting this message out there saying, look, um, would love to be a part of this journey if you're interested in having a, a different partner. You know, whatever that means. You know, I understand that mind may not necessarily define them in body and form. But to me, I've got a body and form that I like my mind to actually participate with in this reality. Sorry if the music's too loud and everything. No control over the music. Anyways, this is a very real man and a very real reality, um, as far as I know. And I'm calling myself Q, the first time one. The one who's in mind that may have accepted your reality as being real. You may very well have actually introduced it to my reality. But I don't claim to know anything other than I just didn't just like to have fun. I got a little bit of a headache right now, so... I apologize if this is a little dry. Thank you.